from the TEC studio. You're watching MSN Live. Hi and welcome to MSN Live. I'm Michaela Jones. Now let's take a look at the latest happening around Mesquite ISD. The city of Mesquite is celebrating the 30th anniversary of Christmas in the Park at Westlake Park with new activities for families to enjoy. To better accommodate family schedules, event days and times have been changed to Saturday, December 3rd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday, December 4th from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Many new attractions will make their debut, such as the Candy Cane Craft Fair, food trucks, and the new Here Comes Christmas Parade will wind its way through the park at 6 p.m. on both evenings and conclude with fireworks grand finale in honor of the park's 30th anniversary. For more information, visit the city's website at www.thecitymesquite.com slash Christmas in the Park for more details. The Mesquite Main Library is looking for high school students to volunteer for their Reading Buddy program. The program partners children with a volunteer to read and play games together. It is held every Tuesday from 4.30 to 5 p.m. Children from preschool through second grade will partner with the teenage volunteer as they spend 30 minutes reading, playing games, and doing other activities. Teens who are interested in being a Reading Buddy should contact the Main Library at 972-216-6220 to ask about volunteering. Read Play Talk is Mesquite ISD's community supported program encouraging early childhood literacy among its pre-K to second grade students from low income homes. Studies have shown students from poverty enter kindergarten on average two years behind their peers due to limited exposure to vocabulary. Mesquite ISD through volunteer, business, and campus partnerships is encouraging parents and relatives to read, play, and talk with their children from birth. The district's goal is to have every student reading on grade level by third grade. Mesquite ISD will participate in the Kids Teaching Kids Culinary Challenge this school year. It will feature high school culinary students going to elementary schools to teach younger students about culinary and treat them to healthy snacks at a taste testing event. The campus with the most participation will receive $500 from Kroger. Two Mesquite football teams are still competing for a state title and they continue on to the second round of playoffs. Poteet defeated Sulphur Springs with a score of 57 to 21. They will play against Frisco Lone Star tonight at Allen Eagle Stadium with kickoff at 7.30 p.m. The West Whiskey Wranglers beat Roy City 30 to 27. They will face Frisco Wakeland 7 p.m. tonight at Buddy Eccles Field in Capel. Good luck to both teams. If football is not your sport, preseason basketball kicked off this week. The Mesquite Boys basketball team have their first home game tonight at 6 and 7.30 p.m. against Plano. Horn Boys basketball team have their first home game tonight against Wilmer Hutchins at 5 p.m. And North Mesquite girls have their basketball game tonight at Irving MacArthur. Make sure to stop by and cheer for your home team. Now that the presidential election is over, there's a lot of uncertainty to what President-elect Donald Trump will do once he is in office. We asked Mesquite students what issues they think the next president should focus on. If I could write a letter to our next president, it would be that they need to have a better focus on the arts because the arts are something that is very important to many people and it is very important for development because people need a creative outlet. Everybody needs a creative outlet. And it's concerning that a lot of schools when budget is an issue they will cut their band or choir first when really that's one of the most important things they have at their school because arts are something that are a part of all of us. So if I could tell our future president one thing in a letter it would be that they would need to have a better initiative towards the arts. I would like the next president to focus on more equal rights for women. If I could talk to the president about one thing, I'd probably let him know that I feel like there's a lack of trust between the youth and the government. I feel like a lot of kids and a lot of young adults just feel like they don't have a say in anything, when in reality we're the ones who determine our future. I hope for the future president to allow beneficial jobs for um, college students that graduate. Most people that graduate with bachelor's or master's degrees they don't um, end up with beneficial jobs. You know, they're still stuck in their unfortunate situations and they're struggling and it's hard. And I just hope that, you know, they'll allow us to have um, a guaranteed job afterwards. If I could say anything to the next president, it would be to help veterans transition back into society by prov providing more resources to help them better adapt and to promote national pride. So what I think the future President of the United States to deal with is illegal immigration and not so much for the fact that we need to get rid of illegal immigrants, but we need to help those who are trying to seek a better future into America find legal documentation so that they can have a, a good life that they're searching for and not just deny them because they're not from the United States. My hopes for the next president 
are better opportunities to go to college. There are many students out here who have dreamed all their lives to go to college and they don't have the same opportunities as those families who are more fortunate. I was hoping that anybody who wants to go to college will be able to have the same chances because some families don't have as much money. What I would like to write to the future president is remember those who didn't get to vote to you, those who are 17, 16, and 15 years of age who will eventually have a say but during the term of your presidency and didn't get that voice. Remember that the policies you embark and put in place will always affect them and have a lasting remembrance on the United States and its history. Well, that's all for this edition on MSN Live. We will see you soon after the Thanksgiving break with an exclusive interview with Mesquite ISD Superintendent Dr. Vrunlin. Have a great day. This has been a presentation of MSN, the Mesquite Student Network, in association with the Mesquite Independent School District Career and Technical Education Department.